Hi Brownell, welcome back. We're so excited for the 2020-2021 school year and we are just pumped to see each and every one of you. I know it's virtually, but it's someday in some way we're gonna be back face to face and we're gonna be able to have those good times in a great way here at Brownell. We just wanna kick off this year and I wanna go through some of those highlights so that you know how to start the year in a virtual remote manner and there's no anxiety, no stress. And so I wanna welcome you back and let's go on in and let's learn about how that happens. Well, at this time, I'd like to take you through some of those subtle nuances that we're going to need to know so that we can navigate through the first day of school in a virtual and remote manner. Okay, so we're going to look at this computer and get to it. In the welcome back to school email, there are three essential links. The first here is going to be to the parent portal. Make sure that you've pre-registered and students have their new passwords. This will allow you to access Schoology as well as our Zoom meeting links, which we'll see here. The other piece here is if you need some assistance, there's a virtual town hall meeting on technology that's recorded and that's accessible with this link as well. The next thing I'd like to take us through is the Zoom meeting links. And on the email, this is linked to a document that is going to have all of the Zoom meeting links for the first day of school. Again, when you open up that link, you're going to go to a page that looks like this. And here you're going to see all the Zoom meeting links with phones, emails, etc. So what you'll do is go here and scroll over that link and it's going to then you'll be able to click on it and it'll take you to the Zoom link for each uh, educator at Brownell. A couple other things I want you to notice. If you're having trouble, I'm going to be hosting as well as Mrs. McNally a Zoom meeting. So here I am, Mr. Hunwick, and you can go to my Zoom meeting. I'll be available from 8.30 to 11.30. And her email, Mrs. McNally's, is here as well. And here she is with her link. And I'd like to also have you notice our counselors. Um, Dr. Naforis, she is right here. And her phone number, 432-3915, is available. As well as our other counselor, Miss Odifer, and hers is 3914. So these two phone numbers will also be available during that time period. After you've gotten through how to Zoom meet, get those links, there's a here for you to click the schedules. And both of these documents are linked the same. The fifth grade schedules and the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade schedules are a little bit different. So make sure that you scroll down that page to check that out. I'd like to take us through our Brownell remote sample of a schedule. I'd like for us to notice that the first week of school is different than the other weeks of school. And that's because we don't have school on Monday for Labor Day. So what we've done is we've made Tuesday and Thursday the same and Wednesday and Friday the same. Moving forward, all Wednesdays will have what is called a learning lab, which I'll get to in a moment. So all students on the first day of school, you're gonna be going to first hour here. Now, if you're a fifth grader, you're going to be going directly to your homeroom teacher's Zoom meet. All others, first hour Zoom meet. So the first week of school, you'll notice it looks like that. And then I have the uh, printout here. If you want to, you can do this and make sure that you're going in the right place so you can fill in your own schedules. This is for the fifth grade white team, your schedule, and this white team is Mr. Stemmler and Ms. Gerlach. And so you can get a look at what you're doing here. Again, report to your homeroom teacher to start the day here. The other fifth grade team is the blue team, and the blue team consists of Ms. Blazinski, Mr. Brown, and Mrs. Pearson. And so when you go here, again, you're going to report to your homeroom teacher to start, and then you're going to see your rotation elective teachers in that same Zoom meet. So we have it all prepared for you. Now, when you're um, when we begin school on September the 14th, that would be a couple weeks from now, we're going to have Monday and Tuesday, and Mondays will be the same as Thursdays, and Tuesdays the same as Friday. And by the same, what I mean is our hours of the day, okay? So when we look at Wednesdays, we're also going to have some learning labs here. And so this is specific to the blue team, Ms. Blazinski, Mr. Brown, and Ms. Pearson. This schedule here is the blue team, Ms. Gerlach and Mr. Stemmler. And again, 
the September 14th moving forward. For all of our sixth and seventh grade students, this is what your schedule is going to look like. And so you'll have your first hour and second hour and third hour on Mondays, and that will be the same on Thursdays. However, Tuesday is going to be fourth, fifth, and sixth hour, and that's going to be the same on Friday. Now, the one thing I want us to look at here when we look at these schedules is we've color coded a few things. The blue is what we call independent work time. And that independent work time is reflected at the start of the day and at the end of the day. This is what we call asynchronous work. This is student directed. This is you on task with maybe some pre-recorded things from your teachers, um, but you'll be working independently during that time. Anytime we have class sessions like this, this is called synchronous learning time. And this is gonna be led by a teacher live at a Zoom meet and you're going to participate and you will be um, asked to be in these areas and we're going to take attendance. So that's important there. Wednesday's a little unique. This is going to be Learning Labs. Again, live led by st uh, our staff and you're going to be able to get specific content help in math, English, all these areas there. One thing I like to notice is the red is student support time. The student support time means that at this time there will be a, your teacher will be live at their Zoom link so you can go in here and you can get one-on-one -on -one or maybe small group help and get some of those questions answered. So that's how our schedule looks and how it will kind of play out. The next thing that we had on our list is the Brownell Remote Learning Norms. And there's a few things I'd like to go over with us. The first is that we have four norms. We want you to be prepared. We want you to be on time. We want you to be respectful. We want you to be engaged. Now, within this, there's a few items that I want to make sure that we're really prepared for. Let's eat that healthy breakfast before we enter our Zoom meets. Let's find that quiet area that's free of distractions. We can turn off our TV. No gaming no toys um, and let's try to keep the pets out and maybe even little brothers and sisters are siblings so that we can be focused let's get dressed uh, there's no reason for us to be in our pjs here by being on time what we're talking about is let's log in before class starts be early be prepared and so we're, we're ready for learning check-in activities for attendance are going to be taken in every one of those synchronous class time so we need to be there and be on time the next is i'd like us to make sure that we are respectful that we keep our microphone muted that we use the chat in our hand to participate so if we have maybe a question we can put up our hand or we can type it in the chat area the next area is engagement and engagement means let's participate in class when when called upon when needed and let's do our best to keep our video feature on meaning our video or our camera but if it's necessary for us to turn it off we totally understand but the goal here is for us to be seen okay the last couple items here on the email is our back to school night and we are going to be having back to school night virtually on Thursday September the 10th at 6 30 so stay tuned for more information in regards to that next week another announcement kind of hot off the press the Michigan High School Athletic Association um, just informed the state that there's going to be some um, fall sports so in terms of athletics clubs and activities we're going to be updating some things so at this time I just want us to know that we're going to be looking at very closely athletic activities and we're going to take a look at that here um, through through the month of September and, and update you when we get to that point um, the safety and of all of our students athletically um, is going to be regularly evaluated on this basis now in terms of other clubs and activities not related to athletics we're going to um, announce that later in September and uh, we're probably going to have some type of remote access platform for all of those clubs and 
and activities. The next is our materials pickup. Note that on September 15th and Wednesday, September the 16th, we're going to have our pickup for materials. Um, so the details are here. It's in alpha order. We're going to start with our eighth graders on September the 15th. And then on Wednesday, we're going to have the remainder of Brownell fifth, sixth, seventh grades, and then a makeup session 5 to 7 p.m. on the 16th. So um, that kind of concludes where we're at. Well, everyone, that's a wrap. So I hope you've learned all those little pieces that are going to be essential for us to navigate learning on September the 8th at 9 a.m. And if there's anything, anything at all that you run into, I want you to know we're here for you. Mrs. McNally, myself, we're going to be doing some Zoom meets starting at 8.30, September 8th, so that if you're having issues, we can help navigate you through it. And Dr. Naforis and Ms. Odefer, the two counselors, they're going to have their phone lines open, and you can dial their number, and you can get a hold of them too. So we're going to be available on summer, September the 8th in the morning so that you can get to where you need to be in a virtual remote learning environment. Well, I wish all of you the very best. Have a wonderful, fabulous Labor Day weekend, and I wish you the best of wellness. Be safe and take care.